Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're making shredded beef taco soup. Now we're making this, we're using a chuck roast, which we are gonna tenderize it like crazy in a pressure cooker. And if you have an instant pot, then that'll work as well. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after this. If you love shredded beef recipes, you are gonna love this one. All right, so first up we have our uh, chuck roast here. And this is a more inexpensive cut of meat and it works well when you're you know, using a pressure cooker to just tenderize it, it'll come out beautiful. We'll need some taco seasoning. Now I have my own taco seasoning that I like to use as opposed to buying it at the store. And I'll leave a link for you down in the description of the video and right up here I'll put a link. We'll need a yellow onion, finely diced. I have quite a few cloves of garlic here. I love garlic, that's probably about three or four. And we'll need some olive oil. I'm using some extra light here that can handle a little bit higher temperatures. We have some canned kidney beans here, organic corn. I have some tomato sauce and some fire roasted diced tomatoes. The first thing I wanna do here is I've got my taco seasoning, about three tablespoons sitting here on this plate, kind of spread it out. And then I take the roast and we're gonna just coat it with all that seasoning. So I'm just kind of dipping it all over, getting it coated. There's some string around this just to kind of hold the pieces together. I'll take that off before putting it in the pressure cooker. But this just helps keep it manageable. And whatever seasoning doesn't get on the roast, I'm just gonna toss in the pan as well. And we're gonna sear this in our pressure cooker, which is gonna add to, of course, more flavor. All right, let's head on over to the stove. Here at the stove, I've got my pressure cooker sitting right here and I'm heating it up over medium heat. I wanna get some oil in the pan. Uh, hopefully you can see it okay. It's kind of a deep pan. So I'm gonna pour, you know, a tablespoon or so of oil in here. Let that heat up for just a minute. All right, so I've got myself a couple of pairs of tongs. You can see here, that's gonna help me control the meat. I, took, I cut that string off the meat, by the way, so it's probably gonna come apart a bit. So we're gonna set this right down inside the pan and just let it sear for just a couple minutes or so. All right, it's been a couple minutes. I'm gonna flip this over. See that nice searing going on there? And we'll let that go another couple minutes. I'm gonna try, at this point, to sear the sides a little bit. I'm just gonna hold the roast up on its edge, sitting up on the edge there. Let it sit there for 30 seconds to a minute, and then I'll flip it on the other side. Now, once I get this all seared, I'm gonna just take this out and place it on a plate that I got right back here. Let that rest for a bit, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna see how much oil I've got in the bottom of the pan here, and I'm gonna add a little bit more oil to it and add our onions. So I'll pour in a little bit more oil. And cook our onions. We're gonna saute these, stir them around. We're gonna kinda pick up a lot of that brown stuff and get it into the onions there. And we're gonna cook these for about five or about five minutes. All right, it's been five minutes. You can see how beautiful these onions look after they picked up all the brown spots on the bottom of the pan. It's time to add our garlic. We'll let this go and saute the garlic for just about a minute or so. So you wanna place your fire roasted tomatoes into a blender. And then we're just gonna blend that up until it's nice and liquefied. And then we're gonna pour that right into our pressure cooker. And we're gonna to toss in the tomato sauce as well. Now we're gonna add another tablespoon taco seasoning, maybe one and a half of those. And we're gonna stir this up. And then we're gonna place the meat back into the pressure cooker. And then we're gonna pressure cook this for an hour. So I'm gonna bring this up to pressure and then we'll set the timer for an hour. Our roast has been cooking now for an hour and I'm gonna take it out of the pressure cooker. So I just released the valve that 
releases all the pressure and once that stops making noise, I'll remove the top. Now we're going to take the meat out of the this pressure cooker here and I'm going to place it on a plate here and I'm going to shred it up and then I'm going to put it back into the pot. Once all the meat is shredded and placed back into the pot, then we can add the rest of our ingredients. So now all we have to do is take our cans of corn and we're just going to toss them right in. Juice, liquid and all. Throw it all in there. And here's the kidney beans. Again, I didn't drain them, I'm just tossing them in. I'm going to stir this up. And now all we have to do is heat this up and then it's ready to serve. Because the corn and the beans are already cooked, they just need to be heated up. Our taco soup is done. I poured it into a clear bowl here so that you could see it a little better than in that big tall uh, pressure cooker. So you can see the nice chunks of shredded beef in here. We've got the corn and the kidney beans. It looks fantastic. So all now we have to do is serve it up and take a bite. You can garnish this up or you can leave it just as it is. That's up to you. But what we like to do, as I'm serving this up here, is we like to top it with a little bit of grated cheese and some corn chips or tortilla chips. You just take a few and just break them up and place them right on top. And you got a great meal. This is a great dish to serve if you have a party because you can do it all ahead of time and then you just let it sit out in a nice crock pot, let's say, and people can serve themselves. But it's a great dish. All right, let's give it a go. It's got that great taco flavor that you would expect with the chili powder and the ground cumin. Very delicious, guys. The meat is delicious. I love shredded beef. It is very, very good. When we seared it with all those spices, delicious. You guys are gonna love this. All right, that's our recipe for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please share it with someone you think might enjoy it and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know if you're gonna try it. Let me know, if, and if you do try it, let me know how it turns out for you. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, click that button right up there or the one down below the video next to the bell. And that bell will notify you when new videos are coming out every week. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.